You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our gospel for today is lifted from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 47 to 54. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors. For they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. Welcome back and good day! As Jesus journeys to Jerusalem, he classes again with the scribes and Pharisees. He confronts them for continually resisting the challenge of knowing the truth. Jesus calls them hypocrites. You hypocrites, he said. You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. Here Jesus condemns them because they reject him and keep the people from knowing and believing in Jesus, the only way to heaven. Jesus called them to repent, but the scribes and the Pharisees did not need it. Instead of leaving the people to decide for themselves, they even kindled hatred for Jesus in their hearts. For this, Jesus warned them of punishment because of their hypocrisy and other sins. Jesus also rebukes these teachers of the law for being witnesses and for corroborating the deeds of their ancestors who killed them and they built their tombs. In today's reading, Jesus grieves for the people of his time and the olden days. Is Jesus also suffering for the people of today who tend to dissuade others from knowing and believing in the risen Christ who continues to live among us today? I am afraid the answer is yes. You and I can turn people off from believing in Jesus. One of my former students told me she stopped attending Sunday Mass because her friend discouraged her. The friend informed her that the parish priest allegedly had a secret affair, so there was no point even listening to his sermon. Granted that it was true, the friend who spilled the beans failed in charity. Charity towards the priest and charity towards the person she discouraged from receiving the sacrament. Telling the truth is okay, but the person has to communicate it within an appropriate context. On top of this, a more crucial way of dissuading people from the faith 
is through the scandal caused by Catholic or Christian leaders and educators, teachers, and parents. Why? Because ordinary people look up to them as sources of truth, devotion to a sinless life, and respectability. What did St. Matthew say in chapter 18, verse 6? Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened round his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. This excerpt is the same woe message of Jesus to the scribes and Pharisees. So let us pray that the Lord will protect us and lead us away from the dangers of sin. We ask for His help to avoid doubtful activities and destructive influences. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.